Okay. If you are ready, let's take a look at this timeline first and understand what are the parts of this. Okay. So over here, this is the new template. Yes, the parts. Here is our race that we always do. Read, annotate, choose, and evaluate. They are useful for all problems. Okay? Now, there's this timeline here. This is like a line. It looks just like a number line, right? Yeah, so it's something that we are familiar with. Then you look at the box. This annotation box here, it looks just like how we usually write our GET. Agree? So you can see, this one is the one that we have been talking about for the past few days. is start time, end time, and duration, S, E, and E. So I can use this template, and boys and girls, this will be going to be very useful all the way till you become primary 3, primary 4, primary 5, primary 6. Okay, so this is the new template that we can try and do at home. I later on I will be giving you a set of problems, a story problems that you can do it and practice at home with. Okay, and then we'll go through some of these. Now, first let's take a look at the page that I was referring to that we talked about yesterday about the movie one, page 159. Then we will try to draw the timeline accordingly. So let me type this first. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about this story of Anna watching a movie. And we already wrote down the annotations, including the race steps here. So we read the story, we can read it once more here. Anna started watching a movie at 3.30 p.m and it ended at 5 p.m. What was the duration of the movie? So that is the story for this problem for this time. Now, so after reading and annotating, I wrote down SED at the side of the question. So I can also do it like how I did it on the template. Let me put the template side by side, okay? Okay, I have to stop share first. Never mind. Yeah, I'll carry on first. Okay, so now we have written it down. It says, I'll read the story again so they can do it. This is how the timeline is drawn here. We have already talked about this question yesterday. So I'm going to try to draw the timeline on my template of how to use this. Okay, so I will stop share and show you this. Okay, so we already did it this yesterday. The part for the question of Anna watching the movie, we already know that there's a start time and time given. So that was reading the question just now, Anna watching the movie. And we also in the question, we already did our annotations. Okay, so let's fill in the blanks again. What was the given start time for this question? What, is, what was the given start time of the question? 3.30 p.m. And what's the end time? 5.30 p.m. What was the time in the question again? Let's take a look at it. 5 p.m. So I'm going to write down 5 p.m. here. And the duration is a question mark. So here, and yesterday we talked about this. 
the units here very important. I start here. We are looking for duration. So the answer should be hours and minutes. Or hours or minutes. Okay, so once we have done this, we are going to choose the timeline right now to try to solve the question. So I will write out at the start of the starting line from my left. Let's say the time is the starting time, write out starting time. It starts at 3.30 p.m. Now there are different ways of doing this. I can do it by counting the hour first, then the minutes, or the minute first, then the hour. Now, what does this mean? I will go with the textbook example first. The textbook went by hour first. So I can draw a mountain for an hour. So one mountain for an hour is like a long time. So this is one hour and it became 4.30 p.m. I can use my clock to check here. So if you are not sure of the time and you find that it's difficult, I can use my clock face here, 3.30, and then I go one, the minute hand goes one round, it should come back to 30, but the hour hand is no longer pointing at 3, you'll point at 4.30. So that's one hour. Then from the one from that four thirty, right? I need to get to five p.m. So again, I can use my clock face here to check. From four thirty, five minutes, ten minutes, fifty minutes, twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes, thirty minutes. Then it will be five o'clock. Okay, so it says it's 30 minutes or half an hour. So I can draw a hue for 30 minutes or half an hour. So the answer for the question of Anna watching a movie. It will be the duration of the movie is one hour and 30 minutes. So this is how you do the timeline. That's called mountain, hills, and rocks. Don't need rocks yet because it's quite nice timings. One hour and a half, one hour, will it can solve already. So if, it's important to have this, num this time written at the bottom of the timeline so you know that you're counting correctly. Then I write down the duration above here. Is it okay? Then, Okay, right. Now, the other method of drawing the timeline is I count the minute first, then the hour. Also can. So, for example, right, are you done with this? Then, uh, okay, so I will erase this one. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Then I show you how we can count the minutes first. So, just now it was 3.30, right? Right, the start time was 3.30. From the 3.30 p.m., I can make it become 4 p.m. first. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, it becomes 4 p.m. first.
Okay, so from 3.30, I can draw a hue first to become 4 o'clock. Then I draw the mountain for one hour. Can you see it's the same answer? So from the four o'clock, then I turn the minute hand one round to five o'clock. Same answer. So just now I draw the mountain first, then I draw the hue. This time I draw the hue first, then I draw the mountain. It gives me the same answer. Can I understand? Okay. Can shall we try another question? Okay. Hmm. Okay, Dana. Okay, if you're done, I'm going to erase this. We try another question. Okay. Okay, are you ready? If you are ready, I will begin. Okay, let's take a look at the textbook and pick another question. Let's take a look at this one here. Mrs. Gopal and her family had their lunch at 11 a.m. They finished that lunch at 1.20 and how long did they take to finish their lunch? So we are going to go through the race steps. So I read it the first time round. I'm going to annotate the textbook as I read the second time. Okay, so I'm going to write down my race again at the side here. One side for race and one side for the start time, end time, and duration. So, Mrs. Gopal and her family had their lunch at 11 a.m. They finished their lunch. And finish their lunch at 1.20 p.m. How long did they take? Now, what are the clues that tell you which one is S, which one is E, and which one is B? It's not written here. I don't see start, end, and D duration in the question itself. So how do I know what is what? Yes. Mm, very good. I like that idea. But looking at the AM and PM, it tells you the clue that those refers to start time and end time. And we already know that if a question is asking for duration, the units will be hours and minutes. So, I like what uh, George is saying. I can see that the AM one, that's probably a cue for a clue for is it start time or end time? The start time, right? Probably referring to start time. So, I have the start time. And then, because this one is a PM, maybe it's a, maybe it's a clue that is the end time. But how can we how can I be very sure that 120 p.m. is the end time? There's one clue word in this sentence. What's the clue word? Finished. Very good. So finish is a very important clue word that tells you that this is the end time. 
Okay, one twenty is the end time. So how long did they take? This phrase means duration. So I have read already and I've done my annotations. I can transfer my annotations into my plastic folder. Okay, so I'm writing down start time is given, end time is given, looking for duration. The start time is 11 a.m. The end time is 1.20 p.m. What time is the duration? I will star E as hours and minutes again. So I just transferred my, transferred my annotations to my timeline. Now I'm going to share... Stop share and you can see I've just transferred it here to my plastic folder template. Okay, so I'm going to begin trying to write it out on the template here with the timeline given here. I will choose the timeline as the method to solve this question. I have the start time, so I'm going to write down start. Mm, very good. So I'm going to write down start time here. And the start time is 11 a.m. Then I can choose to do mountains, hills, and rocks. I can choose mountains first. Well, yeah. So let's say if I choose mountain first, I can count by one hour. So one hour later, what time will this be? If you are not sure, you can go back to use your clock face again. Okay, and then you can go to 11 o'clock and count by 5 minutes to 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And what time will this be? It will be at 12 o'clock. Will it be 12 a.m.? It will not be 12 a.m. It will go to midday. It will become noon time, p.m. Almost your snack break time, right, as well? Then from 12 p.m., I will go one more hour, so I will draw another mountain to go to 1 p.m., that's correct. You need? Travis, I have one that I can lend you. Travis? No, you need no need? Okay. If you need a marker, you can borrow from me. Then from 1 p.m., I can draw hue. Oh, it's 1.20, not 1.30, okay? If you go 1.30, then you need to go backwards. Okay, you can write it in 5. You can write it as 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. That's for hues. If you want to write small little ones, also can. Like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, it's more than that. I can draw little hues. Okay, or you can just draw a big one. A big hue to 20 minutes. So it'll be 1.20 p.m. And that's the end. So the duration, which is the answer here, will be one hour, 
two hours, two hours and twenty minutes. Okay. Okay. Now, if we are clear with this question, we will try another one using my problem paper. Okay. Which this one is what you will bring home in together with your folder and do it from home. And there's a prize for doing this and posting it on Class Dojo. Okay. I'll show you in a while. Okay. Can I have the good leaders now? Okay, so I have this work problem paper. I will sort it inside the plastic folder as well, but not on the same side as the timeline questions because I need to draw my timeline on it. But before I do it, let me choose. Um, I'm going to choose question five. Okay. So I'm going to erase this first. Right? And I'm going to place the paper on the other side. And I will choose question five. So I put the paper, one side is the problem and the other side is still the timeline. Okay, so back to the side, I chose question five. I'm looking at the tennis match question. So this is how you can do it at home to practice. You can start off by choosing a question that you want to try. Okay, if your table has too many things, you can put the textbook away first. You can put it underneath the table. And then you look at the just your template for now and the problems. So I can put the problems on one side of the plastic folder and the timeline on the other side of the plastic folder. So I can pick which question I want to try you can ask your parents to take a video for you or take a photo for you and upload to class dojo. Okay? Now, you can, if you're not sure, sure which question to try, you can also ask your parents to choose for you. So, for example, I'm choosing question five now. I've already put my paper onto the plastic folder so that I can annotate when you put it as well. So I've chosen question five. I'm going to try this question now. And I can do my raised steps at the side here too. So I read the question first. The tennis match was played from 8.15 a.m. to 10.25 a.m. How long did the tennis match last? Okay, 
So how I read the first time, I'm going to do my annotations as I read it a second time. The tennis match was played from 8.15 a.m. to 10.25 a.m. How long did the tennis match last? How do I know about start time and end time? So George, I can see that they are both AM. Okay, that tells me that based on the units I know, if, it's not, if I see AM and PM, that would already mean that it's, the question is asking for something that was not given. You'll be asking for hours and minutes. That's correct. So it says that it's looking for duration because the clue is in the AM. But which one is the start time and which one is the end time? Yeah, the start time is 8.15 AM, but how do I know that? Hmm? That's a good way of saying, of thinking as well. So Mika says, I can know that 8 15 a.m. is the start time because it's the smaller number. Yeah, then know it's both. Ends. What's another clue word? The English word, the very important clue word that tells you that 8 15 is the start time. From, that's correct. From is the key word that tells you that it's a start time. From a place to another place. I run from the canteen to the classroom. So you start from the canteen. So the same idea. So which is the keyword for end time? What is the keyword for end time? So if from is the keyword for start, to is the keyword for end. So I just I say from the canteen to the classroom. So from to. So from is start, to is end. Very good. You are able to pick up the keywords. All right. The most important one is from and to. How long the, the, the tennis match last? So how long and last are also very important keywords to duration. So once I've written this down, I can move on to solving the question on the timeline. So, once I've done this, I'm moving on to my timeline. So, we have done the read and the annotation. 
And we are going to choose the timeline. Just now the star for the units is, if we are looking for duration, it's hours and minutes. Okay, so we have already done this. So I'm transferring, I'm just transferring to my template here. What was the start time given in the question again? Was it 8.15? Let's do a quick check. That's right, 8.15. 8.15 was the start time. What's the end time that was given? 10.25 a.m. Now, these numbers looks a bit challenging. May feel a bit scary. So you can, again, you can decide whether I want to use the mountain here, mountain first or the hills first or the rocks. So I'll start with 8.15 a.m. So if I'm not sure, I can try. That's why we are using a template. You can erase this the, the try. So let's say I go with the mountains first. I in, I that means I deal with the hours first. I don't care about the minutes first. I try by one hour. What will be the time? It'll be 9.15 a.m. Then from 10, 15 a.m., I can draw another hour to see whether it gets to 10, 15 a.m., which is okay. Now, we I choose to draw another mountain? No, I wasn't. All right, because if I draw another mountain, what would be the time already? Yeah, it'll be three hours and you'll be after. After 11 already, after 10 25 already, it's over already. So I will not choose a mountain anymore. I'll not choose to go the hour. I'll choose a smaller one. Okay, I can choose the hill or the rock. Also can. Let's say I choose the hill, I can draw go by five minutes first. If I'm not very sure. So if I go by five minutes, it'll be 10 20. Okay. If I'm not sure, sure, I can always go back to using my clock face. From 10, 15, then from the means I count from here, zero minutes. One, two, three, four, five. Five minutes. That's 10, 20. Then from 10.20, I can go for another five minutes to 10.25. Then so five, zero, five, 10. So that makes another five minutes. You can draw another hue. Let me draw the hue a bit bigger so that it looks neater and there's more space. So that's, that's 20, 20. Then one more, five minutes to 10, 25. Which is the correct end time. So I can add the time together, one hour, two hours, as the answer, five minutes, 10 minutes, two hours and 10.
Now, if you look carefully, you realize that I write my numbers, the start time, right below the marker point here. Okay? All right? Some of you, you wrote the time in the middle. That's not correct. I'm writing the duration at the hill or the mountain, but the exact time I'm writing at the marker points here. Okay. Okay. Then I'll give you a Okay, thank you. Okay. So can you see I'm writing my start, my exact time, eight fifteen at the marker point, where is the point in the timeline. Here, and 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 here. Whereas for the duration, I'm writing between the spaces, like time has passed. So along the timeline, it was one hour. The one hour was this whole space here. Yeah, it's like a time machine. So I'm writing the time at the marker point here. I'm writing the time at the marker point here. Whereas for the duration, it was the spaces in between. One hour here. It was the mountains here. And then the hue, five minutes I wrote it in the space on the hues. Okay? And then the, hours, the answer, I check whether I have hours and minutes. Is that okay? All right. We have tried three questions today on the timeline. So today your challenge is to go and try to take a photo of yourself, try out one of the questions here. Okay, of your choice. You can choose to take a video or a photo of you working on a timeline. Okay, and the price for doing this activity and posting a class photo your two new okay. The first one is the topic. Sit down, I'm sorry, on the screen. Not here. The first one is a topic card. And there are different colors. Right, and the deeper the light, it's a maze, football maze, a uh, football pinball game. Yeah, different countries. You have Brazil as well. And you also have China uniform. Okay, there are different ones. So this is about the new price for posting on class studio. Okay.